Now what would I need with a P-clip, some wire, some connectors, a switch, half a Kinder Surprise toy container and a voltmeter. Now I got this one off eBay, they're only a few quid, uh, it's just got a screw back on it. So we are going to knock together a voltmeter for um, this time the Honda CB500. So I've got two bikes, this is my main daily rider um, and the reason I want to do this is because a couple of years ago, it's taken me all this time, um, I came out to start it one day and I just got the regular kind of click click and what happened is, and I've just switched it on to show you, I had plugged in and switched on just my USB charger which is connected direct to the battery and that little LED was sufficient to drain down the battery. Right. Should just be able to run the cabling through that little aperture there that goes out to the right side of the bike. Uh, it just comes out through there, and then I should just be able to run it along this existing wiring loom round through to the front. Right, so I've pulled the wire through and um, put the ring connectors on, so that just feeds through there down there now you can't see it's too dark where I showed you and comes out here runs along the loom I've just cable tied it there and tied it to the frame there and it runs up to the frame there and I've just put it through that existing cable and then just joins on to the uh, throttle cable there out through the front of the frame follows the throttle cable up and there's the other end. So, neat and tidy, nothing's fouling. And I'm just gonna go and put everything back on and then we'll get to work on this end. Right, that's all back together anyway. I needed to get it all back up together just because I needed to use the bike. So, um, all I've got now is the wire wires through there so uh, let's start assembling right hope you can see this clearly uh, this cable here comes from the switch on the handlebar. This cable here comes from the battery. So, brown is the live from the battery. And then that needs to splice into the blue-black here, which will be the positive through the switch. And there is polarity because it's got a LED light on it. Then it will come back out of the switch through this brown. That will go directly to 
the voltmeter and then the uh, negative here will come from the voltmeter back down to the battery. So I just need to splice together the blue, black and brown here and then connect these two to the voltmeter and then that's all your electrical connections done. While I'm down here, I've just connected the ring terminals now for the voltmeter to the battery. Right, quick pit stop here. I've cut the switch off. As you can see, the wires are snipped across. Um, the reason I've done that is because when this was all connected up and I put the little voltmeter in, it was showing 3.45 volts. Reason? Tiny little resistor inside the switch, which is clearly giving us a false voltage reading um, with the voltmeter. So I didn't record that before I chopped the switch off, but if I just show you going directly to the battery, there you go. So we've got 12.58 volts, 12.59 on the multimeter, and if I disconnect the little motorcycle one that I'm fitting on, 12.5, it's obviously just one decimal place. So I've ordered a new switch. Yeah, that was daft, I didn't think of that. Um, obviously you've got this tiny little light here on the switch, so you need that resistor for that. And because this switch is wired in series uh, with the voltmeter, of course you are gonna get a false voltage reading with that little resistor in there so that was a bit of a rookie error so um, the new switch I've ordered which doesn't have uh, a light on it should fix that problem so I'll wait till that arrives I'll get that all wired back in and we'll be back to where we were a moment ago well, the cable length is the same so that's all good Right, so back to where we were. Um, brown wire there comes from the battery, so that's the live feed. It was connected to the blue, black, positive side of the old switch. It will now just get connected to the blue, to the new switch. So I shall just take the solder off there and solder this one in. Uh, and then this will be uh, the wire running out of the switch so I'll just need to put one of these little blue female spade connectors on and then that will go to the positive side of the voltmeter and then that will go to the negative side of the voltmeter through the green yellow and back to the battery and it should just then with the flick of this switch give us an accurate voltage reading because we've got no little resistors lurking inside this time so the ignition's off, engine's not running. I uh, just want to quickly check what voltage we're getting through that now using the multimeter. Ignition's off, of course. There's no other current draw anywhere. That's pretty good. And just with the voltmeter that I'm going to be using plugged in, it's showing 12.7 volts. So literally a tenth of a volt difference between my multimeter and this voltmeter which is good enough for me um, all very well checking your voltage when you come out to the bike um, that just tells you providing the battery's healthy you've got enough cranking power because if you've got um, a battery that's perhaps just very very tired it's gonna be a little bit depleted and even if you've got what looks like a full charge it might not be enough to crank your bike over because if you think about it, if you put eight 1.5 volt AA batteries in series, you'd have a 12 volt 
circuit. That would not crank your bike. Uh, so it is all about capacity and cranking power. So providing your battery's healthy, then you can switch this on. You can see that you've got uh, enough voltage there because it's a 12 volt system. Uh, your ignition relies upon it um, and your bike's going to start. So that's all well and good. What I want to do uh, as well is check how much is being pumped back into the battery when the engine's running. So to check the regulated voltage output on this bike, we need to run the engine, wind the uh, engine up to about 5,000 RPM, so just about where my finger is there, uh, needle sort of 12 o'clock position. And what we should be seeing is something like uh, 14 to 15 and a half volts on the uh, meter. So, let's have a go. There you go, so you can see it, um, it's kind of sitting on about 13 volts or so, just dropping a little bit again at idle, which is absolutely fine. And it got up to about 14 and a half, nearly 15 at 5,000 RPM, which is absolutely fine. So switch all fitted in in place. I will just need to put some cable ties down because that just runs down by the clutch cable and around there so I just need to tidy that up and cable it in we've got all the wires in place we've got the p-clip in place for the housing I'm just using um, what is half of a children's kinder surprise toy container that comes out of the center of the egg I've already punched a hole out of the bottom and drilled it and that will just bolt onto the p-clip on the back of the voltmeter, you've just got this uh, flat nut, essentially. You'd normally just sort of bore a 30 mil hole, slot this into your fairings somewhere, car, boat, whatever, uh, and then just, just screws onto the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this to this. Once that's set fast, uh, I'll bolt it to the, to the handlebars on the P-clip. I'll pull the cabling through, wiring through, uh, and then I'll just connect it up, and then that should just screw straight on job done